Welcome to another video about Captain. Today I want to quickly show you how you can create a new project in Captain and with a shipyard file actually and defining some stages. Yeah, and um, with that, let's jump directly to the Captain UI. So creating a project in Captain, you can either do using your uh, UI and click on create new project. Will it ask you about the project, my awesome project. Um, this needs to be a lowercase um, name here. It numbers and hyphens are allowed, but uh, yeah, it should, must not be uppercase. And you should also just have a Git upstream repository ready. Uh, you can meet, read more by clicking on this link regarding the Git upstream repository. Um, there are several supported like GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, Azure DevOps, um, but any Git repo usually works. And what you need, however, is a shipyard file. And you can read more about a shipyard file here. Essentially, what you need to start with is a shipyard file with stages. So let's actually copy that as a starting point. And we need a file to like, yeah, we need this in a file somewhere. So I'm just gonna open up my editor. You can use whatever editor you want. It's a YAML file, so that should be supported by your editor. I will save this file. Um, I will save it just here in my home directory as shipyard.yaml. And this is not done yet. I mean, you could do it like that and upload it and then you have three stages. But what you want is sequences on each stage. And how to do that is to extend the section with the stage that you're in with sequences and define sequences. So, and this is where a good editor would help you now <laughs> by indenting it properly. But yeah, we can do it like this as well. So we're gonna create a sequence and our Usual example is the delivery sequence, so let's use it. And for delivery, we want to have the task deployment, and in this case, the task release. Um, but you know what? I actually don't want to release task, not in a dev stage. That's okay. I just want a single stage, uh, a single sequence with a single task, and that's it. But now for a hardening sequence, I want the hardening sequence to run once dev is running. And I actually don't want to call it hardening, I want to call it QA, because it's my QA stage. Um, and you can already see where this is going, like I'm making a multi-stage delivery right here. So I'm defining another sequence, it's called delivery. However, this time, this is triggered on, and it's triggered if the event Dev dot delivery dot finished is emitted. So stage dev delivery once that is finished, that's what we're saying here. Then we want to automatically trigger QA delivery, and the tasks in here are also very basic. Again, it's gonna be a deployment, but I'm going to add a test task now, and I'm going to add an evaluation task. So this will do a deployment to Kubernetes. This will run some tests against this deployment and this will evaluate the outcome of these tests. So yeah, very, very basic pipeline here. And then in production, I also want a sequence with the same name. Technically it could have a different name, but for me it's the same name. I think that makes more sense. This sequence is triggered on the event qa.delivery.finished and it consists of the tasks deployment. So uh, that actually doesn't make much sense, right? Because then why even have the QA stage, right? What we actually want is an approval step in here. And let me see, it's not there. We can actually take a look at the docs. Um, I think this, in, this is here, delivery assistant. We can make the approval such that it automatically continues or is approved if the evaluation sorry if the evaluation passes so we can define properties here and the properties are pass automatic and maybe if it's a warning we want to manually promote it so you know look at it and investigate and then say yeah it's okay so if this evaluation passes we will automatically approve it. And if this evaluation provides a warning, we will 
have the option to manually approve it. And that's our whole shipyard file. And all we need to do is now go to the captain UI, select the file. Um, here's my shipyard file and create project. It says it has been created successfully and we are in this project now. We can now see there is a dev, a QA and the production stage, but there are no services yet because yeah, we will have to create a service in order to do something, but that's part of yet another video. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel so you don't uh, miss it when I publish the next video about this. See you.